The BBC Radio presenter Janice Long, who was the first woman to have her own daily show on Radio 1, has died at the age of 66. In a broadcasting career that spanned five decades, she was also the first woman to present Top of the Pops. Our entertainment correspondent Lisa Mazimba looks back at her life. It's with a band who've been together for a year, they come from Leighton Buzzard. It's the first appearance on Top of the Pops. It's Catch a Goo Goo to Charlie. Janice Long making history. The first regular female host on Top of the Pops. It's you too in at number 23 and New Year's Day. She ended nearly 20 years of men dominating the presenting lineup. I was absolutely thrilled to bits with the fact that I was introducing you two. I mean, that doesn't get, you know, your first top of the box. All is quiet. I really enjoyed all the swapper arms. It's been nice to have Show business before. ran in the family. I enjoyed it, I thoroughly enjoyed it smashing. Her first TV appearance was alongside her younger brother, Keith Chegwin, on the children's show Multicoloured Swap Shop. Hello and welcome to the show. It's great to be A year here. later, she joined Radio the 1, the first woman to have a daily show on the pop music station. You knew it. The stadium was filled with 72,000 people. And hey! As well as being a voice recognised by millions on the radio, she was one of the presenters at the Live Aid charity concert. For which state is Edward Kennedy a senator? and over the years appeared on a huge range of different TV shows. Next week's hit parade with Peter James Barnard Powell and Gary Davis. She'll be remembered as a female trailblazer and as someone with an infectious passion for music. Janice Long, who has died at the age of 66 after a short illness. Carol's here this morning, and we're not only reflecting this morning, Carol, on the, on the death of Archbishop Desmond Tutu, but also on um, someone I know that you uh, knew well, Janice Long, the legendary uh, DJ, who um, I think surprised a lot of people with the news of her death over the weekend. And I, I, when I used to travel back from football matches, I used to love listening to her late night on Radio 2, and she just had an amazing career, didn't she? She did. She was an amazing lady, Dan, really warm really kind as well and generous with everything that she did. But most of all, she could make you laugh. My goodness, I used to do the weather in her late night show and she would have you laughing uncontrollably. So you were really struggling to get through it. I'm so sad to hear this and our condolences, of course, go out to her family, all of her family everywhere.